Chef Marco Nicoli here. Thrilled to be cooking with you again. Pork shoulder, best barbecue recipe out there. Again, super simple, less than five ingredients. We're gonna let the barrel do all the work for us. We have a beautiful trimmed pork shoulder here. I love using a boneless pork shoulder. So as you can see here, we've removed the bone. It's a little bit quicker, so you can do it in about four to six hours instead of the six to eight hours. Once we have it here, we're gonna use two ingredients as our glue, okay? So we have a honey. I love a local honey. Summertime, I go down to the farmer's market, grab whatever's local, super nice and fresh, and then yellow mustard. So all we're gonna do is keep a clean hand and a dry hand, or a dirty hand. We're gonna put a little bit of honey down. Again, if you don't wanna use honey, you could use brown sugar. Also works really well with this recipe and mustard. And we're just gonna kind of start working that in, okay? Doesn't take much. And again, if you're looking for the recipes, they're gonna be on our website. You can get all the exact ingredients there. And we're just gonna work this in on all sides. And really what we're doing is creating a surface so that our rub sticks. Now that we got that finished, I'll go wash up and we'll add the rub. We got it completely rubbed with the honey and mustard. We're gonna use this birch barrel rub, the whole hog. I love this one on pork. I actually love it on fish as well. There's some beautiful notes in it, but pork shoulder, it is golden. Whenever I'm using a rub with raw meat, you just wanna be careful. Raw meat and rub that you're gonna use for other things don't mix well. A little pro tip, put a little bit of the rub just up in the top corner so you can use it on the back side. We're gonna rub this in. Now, I'm gonna get in here with some dirty hands and work this in, work this in. We're gonna flip it over. And then all this rub that I put up at the top of my board, I'll work on to the back. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> now we can head over to the grill. All right, so for this recipe, I'm gonna open the vent all the way up so we're getting tons of oxygen into the fire while we're smoking. We're gonna add the pork shoulder directly to the center of the grill. You're gonna hear a little sizzle. What that's gonna do is lock in all that flavor, searing it in. We're gonna drop this lid, lock it into place, and then raise it up. And we're gonna keep it just maybe six inches, call it, above the flame, and let it smoke to four to six hours. All right, guys, after the longest six hours of my life, let's check this pork. Anticipation is killing me. I cannot wait. Oh, oh baby. Oh my gosh, it's just falling apart. All right, look at this beautiful pork. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so all we're gonna do now is I like to create just a little bit of a, a bed of mustard. I like the acidity down here on the bottom of this platter. And again, this is just more for presentation than anything, but a little bit of mustard down, a little bit more of that rub, and then we're just gonna tear off pieces because I like kind of bigger chunks. I don't want it super shredded up. And like I said, this is just falling apart. If I had a bone in it, you could remove the bone at this point. You have all this beautiful smoke from that apple wood that we were smoking with. You have so much control with the barrel, being able to raise and lower it, both the charcoal pan and the grill itself. So if, if you're getting too hot, just raise it up. But I love this crust we got. Big chunks of just bark all over this thing. There we go. Beautiful pork shoulder on the birch barrel.